Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake Island Exotics. Please like, subscribe, share and comment for me. Um, so today it's Monday, um, so you can tell all the lights are off and everything. Um, not meant to be in today, but uh, animal delivery's come. So I've decided I'm going to do the, I'm gonna go, when I go back home, I'm going to do the um, fossil, hunt, fossil prepping video. That's going to be for Monday, because we're having fossil Monday. And then um, we can do the animal unboxing for, for part of Tuesday's video. So we're, we're having a Monday video for Tuesday instead of a Sunday video for Monday. So that's what we were doing before, this is what we're doing now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've had our new delivery, just arrived. Uh, different supplier, uh, different way of delivering it. So it came straight from the supplier, she delivered it personally all the way here. Uh, so it's not packed individually, it's all in one big box. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll get set up and I'll, uh, we can crack on and have a look at some other new animals. So yeah, it should be a really good day. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the, the video. I hope you're having a lovely day because again, we've got cracking sun for it. So uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying it, hope you're staying safe and I'll see you in a sec. Here we have them. Nice big box. So, uh, so we've got Bosk Monitor number one. We have Bosk Monitor number two. So they're little cool little lizards. Come on, mate. There he is. Oh, careful, mate. Look at that. Oh, still in little lizard. I do like a boss. They do get nice and big. But uh, this is only half the order. We've got another order come in uh, Wednesday, which is going to have the crazy, crazy animals on. So it's not a massive order because it's, I've got that expensive animal coming. But uh, it's going to be really good, really, really good. So these, one of these are for me, I think, because they're so cool. But look at that. These are Malaysian flying geckos. I think it's amazing. It looks so cool. So I've got two of these. Uh, I was hoping she was going to send me a pair, but she hasn't. I think she sent me two females. So I might be trying to find myself a male. I can breed them. They're Malaysian um, flying geckos. So cool. Never ever had them in the shop before. Uh, but yeah, absolutely amazing creatures. You get them in black and white as well. Black and white, they literally they look like toothless from. Um, I train your dragon and uh, it looks like the gill version of Toothless as well so if I can try and, try and breed some of them I'd be, I'd be the happiest bloke going uh, so we're looking what else we got so we've got a baby pat my frog look how little he is little tiny tiny pat my frog so we can get a better look at him for you there he is what a cute little frog. Toad, sorry. South American horn toad. There he is, look. No? He's just all body and legs. Oh, it's amazing. That's oh, amazing. I've never seen one so small. Never had one so small. So, do 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 do. We have an orchid. So she's at the top there. So these have been having trouble with the ones lately. They haven't been, they've been, haven't been liking the heat. So I might find a cool spot in the shop to keep her. So I think the heat's been knocking them about. Um, so I think we've got snakes and a tortoise left. So here, we have the rainbow bowers. How oh, cool! So we, we get one out. Oh wow! Oh wow! Look 
Look at that! So I've had two come in. Stunning animals. Absolutely stunning. I've never had Brazilians in the shop before. I've had Paraguayans, but never Brazilian rainbow boas. So the first Brazilians in the shop ever. And you're darling. And I've got two. There's the other one. So, very happy today. They've got all their feeding schedules and so on and so forth. So it's brilliant. They're actually live bearers. So uh, they don't lay eggs, they give birth to live babies, which is a bit different. Um, so come here, darling. We've got to go back in the tub. This is going to be interesting. Come on now. Back in the tub, just for a bit, and we'll get you set up. Just for a little bit, back in the tub. There you go, nicely back in the tub, no tails, no heads, no pinching, absolutely perfect. So uh, I'm going to start moving some animals now because I don't want stuff to get knocked over. There you go, Let's put them out of the way over there. So we've got the other rainbow grower. She's even put the time of day she feeds, 1pm, 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 1pm. It's good, isn't it? So, this is my little horse field. No, I should, I should take that. Yep, so, uh, it's one of the hinge boxes. I don't get these very often. There he is, stinky tortoise has been having a poo. Ugh, stinks, that does, that absolutely stinks. Ugh. So clean, don't want to transfer anything to other animals. So uh, we've got big tortoise is going tomorrow, so we can go in the tank. But he's most likely going to have to come home with me tonight. Um, now we've got some bigger stuff. So we've got the fire royal. Really nice looking. So it's a male. Male fire royal. So I'm going to get close-ups for all these with the big camera, well with my, uh, with the, with the better camera. And this is the yellow belly. Both lovely looking condition. Very happy. Brilliant. So I'm going to do some close-ups now, so you can have a better look. And then, uh, as long as the video's long enough, I'll have it for the video for Tuesday. And then, as uh, so you can see, the unboxing. And then, uh, today, we can go home and do the fossil video for today. So, yep, we promised fossil Monday, so we've got to do some fossils. So, I'll, uh, I'll see you in a sec. So, we've got the animals livery. So, I'll just plonk them back in so we can get a good look at them again. So, we've got the horse field. We absolutely destroyed a tank with poo and wee. But that's what a tortoise does. Yeah, looking great, looking great. Very small compared to the uh, the beast we've got over there. But uh, he's happy as Larry. He's getting collected tomorrow with all his stuff. So we have the Bosque monitor. So we'll have a little look at him because he's a lovely little lizard. I've got to watch it as well because I've had people walking in the shop thinking it's open, even though the lights are off and 
the sign says closed. Doesn't mean anything, people just wander in. So there he is. Hello, mate. I think they're, I love their tongues. I really do. So we've got two of them. Should be a breeding pair, so we should have a male and a female. Um, they're from different clutches, so um, we shouldn't have any problems with anything like that. We'll put the lid back on. Uh, do, 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 do. So this is, see, you've got slightly different head shapes they have. So this one's a lot shorter and a lot stumpier. It's most likely the female. But uh, we try them on some food in a bit once we get them warm. Um, we've got the, the Pat Baby Pat Man Frog. Look how tiny he is. Don't get a better look at him. Isn't he just the cutest thing on the planet? Isn't he just the cutest thing? Anyway, he's just so cute. Oh, he's amazing. So we put him back. There we go. So these are my Malaysian flying geckos. Look how cool they are. So I've got two. Some of the coolest geckos you can get. I can't get these out because they'd be super fast and they, uh, they'd be gone. So, we've got a rainbow boa. So, I haven't had this one out yet. So, uh, I've got the other one out, but we haven't had this one out. So, we'll get her out, see what she's like, see how she's, she's feeling. Oh, wow. Look at that snake. Some lovely markings. And they're not really bitey either, which is nice. They usually go for anything pink though. So our fingers are usually a good little snack. But yeah, they're both lovely, handsable. And you darling? And you? Yep, some lovely rainbow bowers. So we put her back in a tub. No, 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 you can't come back out the tub. It's cheating. Oh, he bit me. Ah, you little bugger. I wonder if I got that on film or not. Come on, you got to go back in. Come on, back in. There we go. Yeah, she uh, she bit me. Yeah, any little tiny pinpricks, but uh, yeah, she got me. So there's the one. We do have the orchid as well. Little orchid. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Sorry if the camera's all weird, it's all, I think it's jiggling for some reason. Oh, there we go, I think it's fixed itself. So, uh, we've got another rainbow boa. This one hasn't bit me yet. Uh, but yeah, you can see she, she definitely got me, little bugger. Um, these are the, so we've got the yellow belly. Lovely patterns on her. 
and then if we slide her over there for now like so we can have a look at the fire oh no we can't there we go so see if we can have a little sneak peek at him because uh, his box is a bit steamy That's better. Look at the colours on him. So that is the Fire Male Royal. Very nice little snake. Absolutely fantastic. So I think that's everybody. Yep. Everybody who's come today. And I got bit. So I wonder if I got it on footage or not. I don't know if I did. But uh, I got bit again. Just opened up the... Uh Fire Royal, just so we can have a little look. Look at that snake. Lovely oranges and blacks. Very crisp lines between the two. And, bi and bigger black patches they are. But, uh, yeah, we're going to set her up in a viv. She's going to go in there and uh, have a settling. You're going to go in there? You can go in. Hide technique again. No? Blooming hell, I've never known that not happen. I've never known them not go into the viv, into the hide when doing that. So, I'll just plonk her in then. She wants to go for an explore. And then, uh, yeah, happy days, happy snake. Still got to do the spraying, got to spray it down. She's got, still got fresh water. So, we'll give her a spray now, and then uh, that's her settled in. And the flying geckos up in the old um, Europe, um, sorry um, Toko gecko tank and the when I get some more they're gonna go in another tank but I'm trying to get a look at him stay still for us I want to see your side so if you look at the side of him see those flaps those actually prung out as wings so they're like gliders so as he's going along he flicks them out when he's when he wants to see how he's flicked it out and then he can glide then. So they can jump from tree to tree without even getting down. So now I've got to try and release him into here without him getting out. So I'm going to have to shut half the glass just so there's less chance of him getting out. What I'm tempted to doing is half shooting this one as well. So I've just got my arm in there. Oh. Okay. So he's free. So now we just need to convince him to leave the tub. You good, buddy? Yeah. There you go, mate. What do you think of that? That's cool, isn't it? So, uh, I've got the other one here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Just doing a slight little tap just to turn it up so we can get some light so we can actually see what we're doing. It's going down again. Stop it, light. There you go. Stay bright for us. Thank you very much. Then we need to convince this little one to come out now. We'll just lift the tissue up. There he is. Oops, sorry. Come on. 
Kijk je meis? Kijk jij? Not skitty at all, am you? Oh wow! Look at that! So they definitely need fattening up. But how cool are they? Oh, a little bit of tissue aid. So I think we've got one there. And there's the other one. So I think they'll be happy in there. See so if we can get a nice look at him now, he's out. His tail is cool as well. So I'm gonna fatten them all up. I think these are two females. So um, if nobody asks me about them in the shop, I'll probably keep the pair and then um, I'll get myself a male. And then I can have a little breeding group or I may sell one of the females and uh, get myself a male. So, uh, yeah, what a cracking little day today's been. So I thought I'd get the Max Snow female out to show you, and she's just shed. So we've got to get her, uh, sort out her fingertips. But uh, look how big she is. Definitely put loads of weight on. I think someone's definitely preggers. Calm down, let us have a look at you. I mean, look, her belly drags on the ground, it's that big. And you, darling? And she's been wedging herself up in the rocks so her belly dangles and doesn't touch the floor. Look how big she is. You big and pregnant, are you, darling? Yeah, got to get her, sort out her toes. Get that off. Come here, darling. I got so we sort her toes out. But uh, we don't want to mess with her too much because we want her to uh, lay her eggs up. We can see there is the toes we need to sort out. Get that stuck shed off. But yeah, we'll sort that out probably tomorrow or after she lays the eggs. But yeah, I'm going to put her back. Hopefully she lays her eggs tonight or maybe tomorrow. But yeah, she's a big girl now. So this is the nest box. And it was level when I put it in yesterday. So it looks like she has buried her eggs. So we want to go nice and slow. Just take tiny little layers off. And hopefully we will find some eggs. That would be great to find some eggs. Come on. Show me some eggs. She looks a lot skinnier than what she did. And she looks very concerned that I've took the next box. So I'm assuming that there are some eggs in here buried. So it's still nothing as of yet. So literally you can see I'm just scraping thin layers off and pulling it towards me. So hopefully we've still got a good bit to go through. So we've got to be very careful because you've got to keep it level at all times. You don't want to be tilting them. You don't want to be rocking the eggs or anything like that. But, uh, oh, I don't think we do. No. No, no eggs. So 
So, have a look down this side. <gasps> oh, yes! Yes! We've got an egg. We've got one egg. So there was on, he was in the shallow end. I thought it'd be in the deep end. So she's actually buried him. I've got two. Yes! Look at them. Two stunning gecko eggs. Yay, we got babies. You did good. You did good. You did good, girl. You did good. Look at that. Two baby eggs. So we're, we're covering back up a little bit. Go. We leave them exposed a little bit just so they can breathe quite easily and they don't suffocate. But that is fantastic. Nice and sw nice and swollen, no dents, nothing like that. So, yeah, put them in the incubator now and we're going to have eggs in. Oh, we'll have to check how long it is, but we're going to have some eggs soon. Well, I hope you enjoy seeing our new animals and me getting, getting budding bit again. But, uh, yeah. Lovely animals, lovely day, fantastic animals, I'm so happy with them. Nice to have some from a different supplier, and some of them we've never even had in the shop before. So I love getting new stuff, and I love, I love learning about new stuff, I love telling you about new stuff. So um, yeah, brilliant day. So I've got some, um, some animals to set up, we've got some animals to take home, we've got some customers to let them know that their animals have arrived, and um, apparently there's a bunch of chickens in the back, but one of the filters going glur -glur. but uh, yeah I hope you've enjoyed the video I hope you like I hope you subscribe I hope you comment and I hope you share um, doo -doo -doo -doo. so yeah click, um, if uh, you want to watch another video of mine uh, there should be a box there and if you want to subscribe to my channel there should be a circle up there thank you very much for everybody who does it means a lot see you in the future bye